Hey, if you had to guess, what would you say the nation's fastest growing sport is? But if you watch Fox 59, you know that it's pickleball. You know, I play barely. I don't even look this good. And we're getting ready to see two professionals. Two local professional pickleball players are using their love of pickleball to co-host the inaugural Making Memories Classic Pickleball Tournament at the end of this month. And it benefits the Alzheimer's Association Greater Indiana Chapter. It's Jade and Jackie Kawamoto. Uh, Greenwood High School graduates, big tennis stars while they played there. We're also joined by Dr. David Mandelbaum, a board member of the Alzheimer's Association Greater Indiana Chapter. Hey, you guys, so good to see you. Jade and Jackie, first of all, I wish we could go outside today. And, you know, a couple weeks ago, <laughs> we actually had, you know, the big setup where we could really see you guys in action. But thank you for being here. I'm going to start with you guys. You're going to show us just a little bit of something here in a few minutes. But tell me a little bit about being coming professional pickleball players how did how did that come to be oh gosh well I think uh, after college we were kind of looking for something to do we stumbled upon pickleball because it looked a little similar to tennis yeah. and that was a few years ago and then um, pro pickleball started really growing so uh, we got into that and we've been doing it for a couple years now doctor I, I, I want to ask you almost to pick up the phone and see who's calling you because I yeah, can hear that I vibration know, sorry about that. in your <laughs> at least I have it on vibrate uh, well, let's talk about you and what kind of inspired you here to start this fundraiser what a smart thing to do because the interest is so I'm betting it's you play huge. pickleball I play some my wife okay. plays more than I okay. do and is a much better player than I am um, <laughs> We, um, I'm a member of the board of directors of the Alzheimer's Association of Greater Indiana, and we have a project known as the Longest Day, yes. where we use days in the summer where mm -hmm. there's lots of daylight, obviously, to um, try to create sort of a fun, maybe unique type of way to raise funds mm. for the Alzheimer's Association with my wife's addiction to pickleball mm. and with uh, the pickleball <laughs> growing the way it is. We decided to create a pickleball tournament as a fundraiser this year for the very first time. What will the funds be used for? The funds are used for research, for uh, support of those who are caring for mm -hmm. uh, um, Alzheimer's patients, for dementia patients. I was in that role myself for, with my parents, both of whom died with dementia, mm. which is sort of my uh, motivation for, yeah. for my involvement. And I'm telling you, being a caregiver is so very taxing and so difficult. And so to be able to support caregivers, to be able to hopefully um, support research yeah. to, um, you know, find a cure for this terrible mm. disease. That's what we're all wow. about. We're seeing your parents there. There's a picture of my yeah. parents. My yep. grandfather died of dementia and it, boy, it was, uh, it was awful too. It's, it's, it's hard to find people that haven't been touched in yeah. one way or another. So. Yeah. Okay. So I want to ask about when, so I see that we have, you know, the two professionals that are going to be playing. Yeah. I think, okay, well. I shouldn't go or be part of it. No, no, no. You're saying so, that's not the case? So we brought, uh, <laughs> we reached out to Jade and Jackie about four weeks ago okay. uh, to get them involved in the tournament. They have come in head first. I mean, they are so engaged and so enthusiastic to help us with this tournament, make it a success. But when they came on board about four weeks ago, we had 46 players signed it, it, up. We now have 182 yes, of players <laughs> of all different levels. Okay. So it does you don't have to be a professional. You can terrific. be the beginner? Absolutely. Well, Absolutely. Well, I guess they score them three to four. Okay, so hey, you two, I want you to go over to our little area here, okay? We'll just okay. kind of just, you can get up and walk over. And then I know this is silly to have you guys do this, but you know what? <laughs> Just anybody that knows anything about pickleball, for example, me with a paddle, if I was in here, I would probably end up shooting one going about 20 feet. <laughs> so let's see just a little bit of that, that coordination, just even the backhand right there, just that backhand. When I do that, the ball goes flying about 50 feet in the air, right? These two are just fabulous. They are so good. Again, um, as they keep doing this, tell me the dates again. Um, July 29th through the 31st in Craig Park in Greenwood. Uh, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, all three days. I gotta work on my backhand. Do you two give lessons? They do. Yes, we do. They do. Are you for real? No, they do. As does their father, who's a great coach and teacher, also. Oh well, uh, hello, business card. <laughs> <laughs> I want to get that for my son for a gift. Okay. He's a fifteen-year-old. Yeah, we'll he loves it. it. Oh, thank we'll make you. it happen. Yeah. I love it. Okay. Additional details on the tournament, including registration. Again, it's a good cause. Fox59.com/links.